We're bred into a society that teaches us that relationships are only two people. Monogamy. But some people struggle with this for obvious reasons. Is it possible that there's another type of relationship out there besides monogamy? Or are we doomed to only one lover for the rest of our lives? When we begin life, there's two people in front of us, our mom and our dad, also known as our parents. We watch and learn from them, and they're the ones who basically shape the model of an ideal relationship to us. Even though we don't know about it at all, we don't even see it happening. If we see our parents fighting a lot and constantly arguing, we accept that as a normal relationship and think that that's just how love is. Growing up, it's our parents who shape what the ideal relationship looks like to all of us. Using Neil Strauss as an example, his mom basically replaced his father's role with him, a term known as emotional incest. For example, one night as Neil slept in his pajamas, he was about eight, his mom actually entered his bedroom and began to sulk her heart out to him about how terrible his dad was. Neil actually became his father from his mom speaking it to him. Neil's mom replaced his father's role in the relationship, putting all the pressure of his father onto him. She even makes the promise to never make anyone as miserable as your father makes me. This type of behavior forever marked Neil with commitment issues because of the way his mother treated him. Because of this, Neil has intimacy issues in all of his relationships. We've all got something known as baggage from our parents, whether we realize it or not. If you're thinking, my parents were perfect, they'd never do anything like that, and besides, I'm in a perfect relationship, then you need to stop what you're doing, enter a bookstore, and buy this book right now. Everyone has hidden issues that are programmed into our heads from the way we're raised. For instance, if your parents were divorced growing up, you're going to have a hard time accepting and being loyal to your lover. You might never have noticed what true unconditional love actually looks like because your parents didn't set the example for you. My father was very disapproving growing up and he would never really give me a, a sense of acceptance. As a result of that, in my relationships with everyone nowadays, I feel very unattached and uncertain. I've since learned how to overcome this, but if I hadn't read the truth, I would have never even picked up on it. Reading this book along with other self-help books have since cured me of this. Knowing the problem is half the battle, and you're on the right track too, because this is in fact a self-improvement channel. It's only when you notice an issue in your upbringing that you can begin to heal it. If you truly love someone, it's best to be brutally honest with them. Don't hold back on your opinions. Be straightforward with them. You need to command to them your needs, not in a rude, demanding kind of way, but in a calm and adult fashion. Neil talks a lot about staying in the adult mind state, which is just one of the many great concepts you're going to get if you read this book. The underlying cause is that you have to fully love and understand yourself before you can love and understand anyone else. What Neil was searching for the whole time, he had actually already had. An honest, loving relationship. He was actually the problem. He goes on this epic journey to find it, and he ultimately realizes that his needs aren't being fulfilled through sex any more than they are in a relationship. What Neil was searching for was a relationship without fear of betrayal, intimacy, hurting, fear of loss, or fear of change. A relationship without lies is a relationship without fear. Monogamy isn't for everyone, but Neil ultimately comes to the conclusion that all it takes is a relationship with truth, no lies, no fear, and no holding back. The key to love? Truth.